Hey and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing how to set up a race progression tracker as in to know how much percentage of the race you have completed thus far. So with that, let's get into it. So before we get started, we need to create a new blueprint. So in the blueprint folder, find a space somewhere, right click, add a new blueprint. We're going to add an actor class. We're going to rename this to BP Progress Spline. So we're going to use this to um, track how far along the vehicle is on the spline and the spline will cover the length of the entire racetrack. We're going to open the blueprint you just created and then once the blueprint opens, we're just going to add one component. We're going to add a spline. And then we'll just call this, uh, we'll just leave it as spline, it's fine. You can rename it if you want to. And then just drag this out just a little bit. Just so when we add it into the level, there's a little bit of difference. And then compile and save. And then we can close this. And then we're gonna add this into the level. And then now just drag and cover the length of the racetrack. I'll see you all in a little bit. Okay, now with the extra spline drag across the length of the racetrack you can now go and set up the code for it i'm going to set this code up in the sports car so just open up the sports car blueprint and then we're going to create a new function i'm going to call this function race progress moves over to the side and then in the event begin play in the event graph just find a spot somewhere before the race start. Just drag this off and then drag over from here and say get actor of class. And the class we're looking for is the progress plan we made, the BP progress plan. And then from the return value, okay, just drag off and say promote to variable. And then we're gonna call this progress plan. And connect that and connect the race start again and then just find in the comment and then with that done now compile and then we're gonna head over to the function we're gonna head over to the function we created and then we're gonna drag in the progress line hold control drag it in just gonna drag off and look for find input key closest to world location just drag this out and then the world location, we're going to get the actor location. And then we connect the actor location to the world location. And then from here, from the spline, we're going to drag off and look for get distance along spline, along spline and spline point. And then just drag this out a bit. And then from the find input key closest to world location, we're going to drag off and look for floor. And then connect the floor to the point index at the get distance along spline and spline point. As well as from the floor, we're going to drag off and say to float. We're going to need this in a moment. And then from the input key, we're going to drag off and look for a sill function and then again from the spline just gonna create a redirect node over here and we're gonna look for get distance along spline as spline point again and then connect the cell to the point index and then the integer to float we created we're gonna drag off and say minus we're gonna drag this out to the bottom, we need to put the bottom, and then in the top, we're gonna put in the find input key closest to world location, the top of the subtract. So we're gonna be subtracting the value from the floor from the value at the input key. And then from there, we are then going to take the value from the top get distance along as from the return value. We're gonna drag off and look for a lerp. And then the subtract is going to be the alpha and then the get this on the plane is going to be the B. 
and then we're gonna drag off again we're gonna create a redirect node here in the middle and then from there we're gonna look for get spline length and then the spline length and the lerp are going to be divided from each other so from the lerp drag off and look for a divide and then add this spline length to it so from here what you're gonna get you're gonna get a value somewhere between zero and one so we don't want it like that what we want is a zero to 100 so we're gonna drag off from the divide and look for a map range clamped and then the in range is going to be zero the in range b is going to be one and then the out range a is going to be zero and then the out range b is going to be 100 and then from here you could add a round to get a fairly good value but there's an add-on a free add-on that you can get from the unreal marketplace i will leave a link to it in the description that will actually be will actually do the same job but a little bit better so after you click on the link we're gonna go over to settings plugins and what you're gonna look for is the standard the extended standard library i'll leave a link to this in the description and i want to add it just need to restart unreal just save everything with unreal restarted you can close the plugins if you want to double check you can just type in standard just to make sure the plugin has been added now you can close it and then from the return value we're going to drag off and look for round and you'll see there's now under here there's a new option so we're looking for the round with decimals now this and the normal round that you get with unreal pretty much do the same thing the only difference is that with this one you don't get to choose how many decimals you get to see it's pretty much just going to be like a one point and then one decimal with this one you can determine how many decimals you want so if you leave it at zero you're not going to see any decimals it's just going to be a whole number and then as you increase the number it's going to be you're going to add one decimal two decimals three decimals and so forth and so forth so now with everything set up i actually did forget this in the variables section we need to create a new variable we're going to call this race progress with the function country name it means the same thing so we're going to call it uh race percent okay there we go and then we're going to make this a float value and then we're going to hold alt and drag it in and then set it and then we're going to depending on which one you want to use i'm going to use the round with decimals going to set that to the race percentage and then connect the execution pin and then set that up so with that when i compile head back to the event graph and then on the event tick after the engine sound we're gonna drag in the race progress and then just connect that and then compile again so to see if this actually works we are going to in the function again we're gonna drag off from the execution pin and look for a print string connect the out value by the set to the in string value and then we're gonna compile and then go play the level real quick just save all so as you can see here on the left there's nothing and then as we progress through it changes to one then a two then a three so it works so we're gonna head back to the sports car delete this and then i'm gonna set this to one decimal place and remove the round also if you use the round I forgot to mention this you're gonna need to convert this from you need to use the two float converter and then can put that in there because the round returns an integer value so you need to convert it to this to a float value then afterwards so, but I don't need that I'm gonna use this one and then compile save and then we're gonna go over to the widgets because we need to go and update the race widget and we are then going to add 
as a horizontal box. Drag this over to the canvas. Close that and then add two text boxes to the horizontal box we just added. We're gonna rename this to Race Progress. And then just resize it just a little bit. And then in the second text block we added, we're gonna change the text to a percentage sign. Set the font size to maybe something like 50. And then for the first text block also, change this to 50. And then in the bind, we are going to create a new bind. Just drag this out. And then from the get text, drag off and say get actor of class. We're gonna look for the sports car. And then from the return value, drag off and say get race percent. And then just connect that to the return value by the return node. And with that, that is everything that we need to do. Compile. And then head back to a designer. And then with the horizontal box we just created, select it. Make sure to take is variable because we need to make it visible and then hidden again through code compile and then we're gonna need to go to the player controller because that's where we handle the race widget so then now in the player controller here at the end of the countdown just before the race start just drag everything off and then from the race splash gonna kind of drag off from it and then look for get race progress and then say set visibility to visible and then connect that and then down at the bottom by the move to garage custom event we're gonna drag this off again and then from the race flash again we're gonna look for get race progress and then we're gonna set the visibility again. And then now we're gonna set it to hidden. And then just connect that. And then we're gonna compile, just head quick back to the race widget, select the block, and then here under visibility, set it to hidden. And then we're gonna compile and save and see if this works. Just save all. And then as you can see in the top left, there is the percentages as we go along the race. So with that, everything is done. That's the end of this video. And until the next one.